Three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. And good morning, this is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor. Glad that you joined me this morning. Hope you had a great weekend. I just kind of, I, I didn't feel very well, so I just kind of just chilled in the house. Bought some more flowers for outside. And I didn't push myself, because during tax season, I, I get fatigued. Because I start my hours early in the morning, and I end them late at night. And so that wears on you at some point in time. And I'm almost at the end of tax season here, and I'm kind of worn out. So I just took two days just to just to relax. Listen, I need to talk to you about one thing. And it's something that I need your participation on. <clears throat> There's a new bill out there. Now, this bill was supposed to restrict and get do away with TikTok, right? But it's, listen, I think we've been fooled here on this TikTok thing. I really think that we have been fooled. Because the way that they have written the new legislation to restrict TikTok, not just restricts TikTok, but it covers a whole bunch of other things too. I want you to listen to this and see what you see what you think, okay? 686, also known as the Restrict Bill. You'll probably know it as the TikTok ban bill, but it does so much more than just that. It actually does more than any bill I think we've ever seen. I encourage everyone to read it by going here. And clicking the text tab, but here are the main takeaways. Foreign adversaries can change by definition, but a few are already listed. They are the People's Republic of China, including Hong Kong, Special Administration Region, the Republic of Cuba, the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, and of course, the Russian Federation and Venezuela under the regime of Nicolas Maduro Moros. I hope I pronounced that correctly, uh, but these definitions can change at any time. The bill covers hardware technology like modems, routers, and home cameras, and virtual tech like VPNs, and basically bans them if they are manufactured by or used to contact and deal with foreign adversaries. Speaking of VPNs, using VPNs to bypass banned apps such as TikTok is made a criminal act under this bill. And the penalty? It's a minimum imprisonment of 20 years and a minimum fine of $250,000 or $1 million, depending if you knowingly did so to access banned content. The bill gives the federal government the power to monitor any activity used by these suspected devices, virtual or otherwise. Essentially, they can monitor what you are doing at home 24-7 without even informing you. This includes things such as routers, video games, streaming apps, smart thermostats, ring cameras, basically anything that uses the internet. Now, the real terrifying part of all of this, as if that all wasn't terrifying enough, is that the bill goes on to state that this will happen by the president appointing a secretary of communication. That secretary then forms a group on their own without any voter input whatsoever. This group can have meetings behind closed doors. They don't have to disclose anything. They can ban and deem anything inappropriate or a risk to security at any moment in time. And if they do, they can go through your instant messages, your emails, texts, basically anything that uses the Internet, and they can censor it. So in summary, this bill can effectively ban anything the government deems inappropriate extremely quickly without warning. The ramifications of this range from breaking up mass communication methods to even watching the cameras in your home aka spying on you it really is that bad and i am not speaking in hyperbole please contact your reps i have a video on my tiktok ban playlist on how to find your representatives and tell them if they vote for this you will support their opponents well that is from that is from uh twitter who a person who i follow i read through the bill this morning and and he's right it manipulates how we use in the internet, for business, for personal reasons, for religious reasons, any reason that they deem inappropriate, they can come after you. Now, those of you who are talking to your, let's say you're from Iran and you're talking to your uh, relatives over in Iran, you will be charged because they are a a uh, enemy of the of the United States. You will be charged. So. This this was adopted by a Democrat. Again, his name is Senator Mark Warren of Washington. Pound on his office, pound on your con- congressional offices, uh, in Senate offices. Right now it's in the Senate. It's a Senate bill, but it has to go over to the Congress. It has to be a no on this. 
I mean, this could have been very simple on banning Twitter. It could have just been one sentence, we banned Twitter. That's it. Nothing else. But now they've gotten into modems and VPNs and everything else. And so our liberties are at issue with this bill. So please, I ask that you, again, contact your congressman, contact your senator, and tell them, hey, enough of this nonsense, enough of it. The link to this bill is down below, and there will also be a link where you can find out who your member of Congress is and member of Senate is, okay, in case you don't know, and how you can contact them. One of the other things I wanted to talk about this morning, which I was kind of shocked this morning, because what has happened last week Last week, I'm sorry, I had to sneeze there. So if you heard a pause, it was because I actually used the, <laughs> I actually used the pause button, so I could sneeze. But anyway, there is a uh, a problem with McDonald's. It seems McDonald's temporarily is shutting U.S. offices and prepares for layoff notices, uh, per the Wall Street Journal. Now, that's kind of scary because now McDonald's is supposed to be a retail outlet that provides low-cost food for us all. So if a low-cost food production, but if if you've been to McDonald's lately, it's no longer low-cost. It's expensive. But the problem is is that economically-wise, people are not spending money by going out to eat. If you go to a McDonald's place, it's not really packed any longer. There's no longer lines waiting at the door. But we have this issue that we have a recession, and nobody wants to admit that there is a recession going on. So McDonald's is meeting, and they're going to put uh, out notices of who's going to be laid off. Everybody was told to stay home and work from home. Don't contact any more vendors which is really strange. Don't contact any, contact any more of your vendors that you've been working with and wait for the notices to come out. So this isn't just in the U.S., but it's also in a global offices too, but it's going to affect, I assume, mostly the United States. And I would be, I don't even know how many people that, that they're going to lay off. And that's, very, very, that's a tough situation to be in. Can you imagine getting a, an email saying, okay, everybody stay home next week. Next week, We're closing down the office. And by the way, you can, so some of you may be laid off. So even McDonald's is struggling. Now, the other issue is I think we're going to have to expect that our oil costs are going to go up. Saudi Arabia cuts ties with the United States for economic independence. And then on top of that, they said that they are reducing reducing the production of oil by 400 barrels a day. Now, the other issue on that is that Saudi has not just been producing oil and selling it, but they have been buying oil from Russia. By the way, Japan, uh, I guess they got permission from the United States to go ahead and buy oil from Russia. So <laughs> this embargo stuff and these, you know, trying to hurt Russia, it's not working because they're selling oil. They're selling oil to the Saudis. Saudi doesn't have to produce that much oil anymore because they're buying it from Russia. <laughs> Japan isn't buying any oil from us, so they're buying it all from Russia because it's discounted oil. So what does that mean for the United States? Well, it could mean that the price of our oil here in the United States will probably go up. That means that the price of gasoline at the pumps are going to go up again. You see, the problem is is that, is that Joe Biden has completely destroyed... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Has completely destroyed the relationship between America and Saudi. They don't want to work with him anymore. No nation wants to work with him anymore. They do not even respect him anymore. He has made such horrific national security decisions 
and economic decisions that it has hurt everybody around the world. So guess what? They don't want to work with him anymore. They said enough. Don't want to work with you anymore. Let me see if I can find the exact words of that article. And uh, we'll talk about that just a few seconds here. So what they did... So here's, here's a, a brief snippet, okay? Saudi Arabia aims to adopt an economic strategy independent of the U.S. due to declining relations during the Biden administration. The country and the OPEC Plus group have announced a cut in oil production of around 1.6 billion barrels per day. Oh, I was wrong. 1.6 billion barrels per day to achieve market stability. Well, America used to have market stability on our own. But then Biden took it all away. No pipeline, no more drilling of oil, no nothing. But uh, we know what I found interesting today. This Greta Thornburg, who is this environmentalist out there. Now, Biden has been pushing wind energy for a long time. Greta Thornburg came out yesterday and said she's against wind <laughs> energy. So, and by the way, wind energy is not that cheap. It's very costly to keep those things maintained. It is not cheap, and plus it hurts the environment. They've had problems with it killing off birds, and also whales get confused because of the sound of the windmill going. And so whales are beaching themselves. So, I mean, environmentally, I can understand why Greta Thornburg is against it. But not Joe Biden. He wants a windmill. He wants electric energy. Gosh, I tell you, we are living in a screwed up world, are we not? Because of this Green New Deal type environment that the president and members of Congress are pushing, it has literally destroyed the whole economic system. It has destroyed relationships with foreign countries. It has made us think, okay, maybe this Green New Deal isn't as a deal after all. I'm just amazed. I, I literally am amazed because we have, we have we're going in the wrong direction with this nation. Here we have a U.S. senator trying to push a bill against TikTok that is really against all of us. Not just TikTok, it's against all of us. It's a ridiculous bill. Then we have the OPEC nations in Saudi who used to be our friends, if you remember right, and they used to, we used to uh, help them as they fought against Iran. But then China came in and China made a peace deal between both companies. And guess what? Both companies produce oil. So who's going to get all that oil? China. <laughs> India buys oil from Russia. So this whole thing about trying to destroy a nation of Russia isn't working. And the president is 100% wrong. Lindsey Graham is 100% wrong. We need better leadership. That's all there is to it. So remember to call and text or email or fax your member of Congress and your senator. You Got to fight them. Got to watch them all the time because they're sneaky, sneaky set of guns. This is Mike Lodge. I'll talk with you soon. If you have a question, send it to thebusinessadvisor at gmail.com. If you want to sit down and talk with me, you can schedule a, a meeting with me on www.lodge.co.com. Everybody have a great Monday. Love you guys. Bye-bye. 